But you know what it is as well, I realized, yeah? Mm. You're in digital space. Mm. You get to meet all these people. As you remind us, you have loads of celebrity friends. Uh, <laughs> I, I didn't say that. That was as, before as, the podcast. As, but as since you, remind you mentioned us, it, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it's people think that digital is a different world from mm. real life, and 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 they also think that people don't their feelings don't yeah, get hurt. Yeah. You know, I know this now because you could talk about a player or something like that. You yeah. see him and he's. Yeah. You know what I mean? I he's, said the same thing when I was with Sanyo and that. Yeah. Like they were talking about Arsenal. I was like, come on, bro. What, yeah, look, yeah, look, look, look at Arsenal yeah, now. Yeah. And they were like, hold on a minute. Yeah, no, it's true. Yeah, but obviously, we could, yeah. we still still be able to joke but and express our It's coming from a place of love. Do you know what I mean? It's and not, that's that's yeah. the difference. But some people, they generally sit there mm. and they go, yeah, I'm just going to personally rip this player. Because you, in your head, you think he's never going to see it or she's never yeah. going to see it. And I'm, there's, there's none of that chat shit get banged reality. Yeah, there's, there is a yeah, none yeah. of that Jamie Vardy. You know, but the reality is sometimes someone will come and see you and have a word with you and yeah. say, hey, and what you usually get in comments if you reply to a couple, oh, yeah, yeah. Mate, you actually replied. Some of them uh, wanted, yeah, yeah, they wanted oh, to get a reaction oh, from you. Yeah, they sorry, expect, mate, I was only oh, joking. Fair yeah. play. You know what? I actually respect what you do. Like, yeah, oh, yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's funny because when you see people in real life, they never, ever come. You never, ever get, yeah, yeah. you know, what you read in the comments. It's always, yeah. dude, love your stuff. Do you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Wherever. Because they know, but yeah. come on, I'm not like you. You might have to put man in a headlock yeah, yeah. or something you know like that. Like, we need to do. We need to, you know, like, you know, dog the bounty hunter. Yeah. We need to create one for like keyboard warriors. Yeah. So you just literally, they get a message like, I don't know who you are. Yeah. I don't know what you want, but what oh, I do man. know is I have a certain level of skills. Listen. I just send them with addresses, bro. Oh, That's what man. Anonymous should have done. I, Anonymous should have just sent out bare trolls and like addresses and sent yeah. people. Guys, welcome to another episode of Jibble with Jabba. Today, I'm really excited because we have one of the biggest Man United fans in the world Are you here. Taking mic? Are you taking the mic? I've only been here for like five seconds. What? Joe, what's happening, man? Listen, I had to just, start it like just that, so bro. you guys you know, know to... yeah, I'm a gooner for life, yeah. <laughs> C O Y G, come on, you gunners. Yeah, I had, I had you to. You know bro. what it I is. Because I thought, you know what? How can I start this where I'm going to make sure he's got fire in his heart straight away, bro? I, I, miss, like, I miss the Arsenal. Do you know how much I work with these Man United, man, all the time, yeah, bro? Yeah. I got to, you know what I mean? They got to know what time it is. You got to represent, bro. You know? So, welcome back to Dubai, man. Welcome back. Thank you, man. How's the Dubai treating you? You know what? Yeah, it's okay. This one's a short trip, you know? Specifically came out just for a little break, but I had to make sure that we linked up AJ. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure, bro. I mean, yeah. it's a long time coming. We kind of... It was sliding doors the last time. I was yeah, like, yeah, I, come on. And you were like, yeah, I'm on the plane. <laughs> yeah, I'll, yeah. Were we supposed to do it in, te in September? Yeah, the or last like time that? that you were here. So did we speak before that? No, I think it was a random was one where I messaged you and I was like, yo, come. And you were like, I, I, I'm not going to turn the plane around, but I'll do it, oh, I'll bro, do it when I, I come back. I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying, man. But yeah. there's a lot going on on your side. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Man. I'm seeing some good stuff. Like, you know, when you go through IG, like sometimes, you know what this world is like. You, you don't have the time to con consume everything. So yeah. if you are consuming this right about now, thank you very much. Because I know you could have just went on another YouTube video. But I'm exactly. seeing amazing stuff that you're doing when I see it online. And even coming here. Mm. Ah! You lot don't know what's going on. Like, chauffeured over here, the, the sparkling lights at the top. I thought it was a flipping taxi vehicle company. <laughs> nah, <laughs> it's his, it's his. And on top of that, you come in the studio and it's just welcoming mm -hmm. some of the best coffee that I've had, not just in Dubai, in the world, by the yeah. way, yeah. and giving me that C C4. That's you know it. what I mean? Trying to blow me I'm up. Just gonna just buzz you, I'm just going to buzz you up, man. Yeah, but yeah, man. Like literally, like here at Boozle, bro, we're doing, we're just trying to create something Mm -hmm. different bro mm -hmm. like an experience that you know when you come in on the show and especially that we kind of don't tell you before yeah because cause you know people will be like yeah come my setup is sick and yeah, blah blah blah, yeah, blah. we're just like, like yeah come do yeah. the podcast you know what i mean and then when people come there's always the same reaction they're like hold on what's, what's going on here bro matting what matting. kind of things going on here matting um you know what we have so much in common like like we we, we could be twins you're just a bit taller I mean, Rah. you know is it uh, <laughs> just a little bit tanned as well only, that's the not, only difference not, bro. not, not as gymmed out as well but yeah yeah i'll take that only difference yeah like totally between us is you're a bit taller otherwise we look exactly the same bro. Listen, this is like the first time someone ever said that i'm a bit taller than them you know bro, what i mean bro look when i get kevin kevin when i get you on bro I've been yeah kevin, i've been trying to get kevin on for a while he's coming on and um that'll be a good day for me it'll be it'll be a big day literally listen. figuratively and, yeah, and really, literally, yeah. really listen yeah. i wish you the best for that yeah bro. man bro let's talk cheeky sport mate yeah um let's let's take it back to the beginnings i mean i know you've spoken about it a million times but there's a lot of guys here who are sitting on the 495th floor 
of a building going, <laughs> what is this cheeky sport? I don't know, but it sounds good. Um, explain it. You know what? Yeah, cheeky sport is uh, is, is my baby. It's a, it's a blessing. It's the company that we created that allowed us to uh, get into the digital game. So before starting um, in digital, I used to be a business analyst, CRM analyst in pharmaceuticals. Yeah, I kind, Random. Of, I kind of saw that. Um, yeah. The brand there that I wasn't too fond of. Oh, what, what, AstraZeneca. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> I used to work for AZ, like, like yeah. back in 2014, yeah. 15, 13 or something like that. Yeah, that doesn't make any and, better, uh, bro. <laughs> I'm, I'm just telling you the truth. Yeah, yeah. So if I say it, then no one yeah. else can say it, innit? Yeah. So, um, so, yeah, basically, um, I, you know, it was like, I liked the pharmaceutical industry. Mm. I was just like a guy that graduated and I was just like happy to be in a job. Do you mm. know what I mean? Like mm. really like most people. And I remember when WhatsApp came out just after Blackberry BB times and it's all about WhatsApp. BB, yeah. So me and my friends are like, you know, messaging, bantering, yeah. you know, football jokes, everything. And then I kid you not, my arrogance was always, hang on a minute. I've got some funny friends here. Mm. Why am I not getting paid for this? You know, mm. all of this is going through WhatsApp. Even back then, that was my mindset. I thought to myself, this is ridiculous. We need to make sure that these jokes come to life. So mm. I could see that the trend was back then, you know, um, you're talking on WhatsApp. And then I could see that fans would be tweeting celebrities and celebrities would With tweet feedback. them back. Mm. Brother, do you know what that meant? Yeah. Like when it came out, I was just like, no way. They just opened doors. You're it like, was, hold on a minute. They're actually replying to They, they can yeah. reply. And these times I ain't got no Twitter account, yeah. by the way. I'm yeah. just looking at everyone else's. And I thought, wow. Next thing you know, I thought to myself, okay, so what's the next step going to be? It's going to be Twitter. Mm. Then it's probably going to be Instagram. And I said this, and then I thought, but then it's going to be face to face. Mm. Let me get in there, right? So that by the time it's face to face, I can do this. There, yeah. And one of my biggest dreams, obviously it's going to come around in full circle by the end of all of this. One of my biggest dreams, my goal was very simple. I want to create a platform or be a part of something where I can tell people my football opinion. Like, like Rio Ferdinand and Ian Wright, yeah. they were the two names that I said mm. back in 2014. Yeah. I don't know why. I just thought, yeah, because growing up, yeah. Those were the kind of people that I looked up to. And yeah. I, I'm not just saying real for the sake. I Being promise you. Being a Man United fan, it happens. No, yeah, no, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Forget that. <laughs> but, you know, yeah. like, like Ian yeah, yeah. and Rio, for me, especially because they were, like, going yeah. into the punditry. But it was almost yeah, like, yeah. I mean, I know Rio was still playing. It was at like QPR back then, but come on, QPR. Yeah. It didn't really count <laughs> that one, did it, Rio? <laughs> did it, Rio? Rio, that one didn't count, did it? We're not going to talk but, about that one too but, much. But, but yeah, so I, from back then. So then what I did... Um, I reached out to my close friends at the time, a few, even more than my close friends, just friends in general. And I said, listen, I've got an idea. I want to like do a football show. I've got a room. It weren't as nice as this room, people. But I've got a room. Shout out to my boy, Ice Elliot Blake, who does a lot out here in Dubai as well. Properties and everything. He's my mate, Kaz's friend as well. Who Kaz by property does these things as well. You're going to see him on this show soon anyway. But um, I said to Elliot, I said, yo, you know, I need to rent out your studio space. Rented it out. Um, next thing you know, I had a bunch of friends that came and we just, we did some budget, budget version of mm. what you're trying to do here now. Yeah. Mm. Not like it was really that bad, mm. but we did like a debate show. So we asked questions, the crowd answered back and terrible editing It's somewhere on YouTube, like the mm. very ever first episode of Cheeky Sport. And I thought, this is sick. It's like, I just knew there was something mm. there. I can't explain it. I could just feel it in my the balls, you know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, I just yeah. feel it. Yeah. And then, um, then I asked my friends to come back the next week and they were like, nah, I'm busy. I can't come yeah. back. I'm like, ah. <laughs> they were like, nah. like, it's not that like they, they didn't, didn't like they it. Didn't, they didn't have your vision. They didn't, they didn't see have the vision. Doing, and yeah. people are generally busy. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? They're thinking, yeah, nah, I got things to do, mate. Yeah. I thought I can't be begging these people to come back every week and me renting out a studio every week as well. It just seemed a little bit mad. Mm. So then bit by bit, I started going to games, trying to get things right. Like, okay, cool. Am I gonna, are we gonna film and talk outside, you know, the fans, what are we going to do? Mm. And I looked up online and there was only two channels, in my opinion, that were doing an amazing job at speaking to fans outside. And it was Arsenal Fan TV, mm -hmm. right? Shout out to Don Robbie, my guy. Yeah. Um, One of the guys passed away recently. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Claude, yeah, yeah, yeah that's Lord. really sad. Yeah, I knew him. I knew him yeah. pretty well, to be fair. But um, it was Arsenal Fan TV and also Full Time Devils, where they had the likes of Stephen Housen, who I work with now, Adam McCola, um, who... Adam McCullough was one of the first people that I saw and he's another one. Like, he, there's some really good personalities out there that you need to connect with, whether it be Don Robbie, all these people, yeah, yeah. proper like proper yeah. pioneers. So 
yeah, um, I would go trying to film, talk to them or whatever. And some of these people were actually receiving. Mm. Not everyone, but some of them were. Um, and it's, as mad as it sounds, I think it was like, Robbie tweeted me back like, hey, I see what you're doing. And I like, that gassed me up for yeah. six months. Yeah, yeah. Like it gave me the, <laughs> the, the like, fuel yeah, yeah. to go. Yeah, that was and a full time competitor yeah. ready to go. Yeah, yeah. And what I did, um, I connected with uh, a few of my friends who were dedicated to the craft. Cause you know, sometimes you've got yeah. like, eight, nine, 10 friends at the beginning and it just drops yeah, down. they're just fizzling out. Like, exactly. Yeah. So that was David Alorca and Akima Juko. And then in the beginning, there was a few of my other friends who, you know, they didn't carry on with the journey, but mm. shout out to them anyway. Ryan, Nick, you know, you guys, Jide, we see you. But uh, it was Akeem and David who we, we decided to try to push for it. Akeem is also an interesting person because he owns a peanut butter uh, company, wow. yeah. He, um, he's white label now, uh, but he used to sell at Holland and Barrett's and Tesco's, all this stuff. So real entrepreneur. And David was a pilot before, but he's also a presenter now that's doing his thing, uh, especially in the boxing now, especially now mm. in the boxing, but he does a lot, a whole type of stuff. He's a United fan. Like, but um, yeah, so basically we, we just decided to carry on going with it. And then as time went, you're just trying to get better, yeah. improving, the, improving the content, going to games. Um, talking to the fans. And then one day, um, David just started shouting at players. like, And it was just banter, asking yeah, yeah. Kane what he's eating for dinner. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you know what I mean? Like getting RVP to sign his hand and you know, all this mad random stuff. And then I would edit in into the episode and we'll shout at players and do a madness. And we realized that we keep going viral. Now we need to keep creating episodes, whether the players know that they're involved in the episodes. Yeah, yeah. Like, it doesn't matter, you're in the episode, bro, yeah, yeah. whether you like it or not, yeah. you know what I mean? And BBC Sport will pick it up, all these people. So they were thinking, who's these random prank youths that are just pranking players and yeah. just whatever. And we realized very quickly, even if you don't know who I am, you know who the players are. Mm. So, you know, especially so back off then. Off that, either way it's gonna get, yeah. You're gonna get the traction. Yeah. So we figured it out real quickly and shout out to people at Lad Bible who would see our stuff and you know, they're very forward thinking with digital. So they were like, oh, you know what? Do you want to come and do some stuff over here? Mm. You know, blah, blah, blah. And then you had the likes of people at Nike uh, at the time, uh, Kerry Williams, fantastic woman's pioneer. I love her to bits. Yeah. She was like, yeah, you know, these guys keep going viral. Let's get them to come and start doing shows. And then, you know, you had people who were working at Arsenal, shout out to Carl, um, you know, Michael Antwi, these guys that were there, they were like, you know what, come Arsenal and do what you're doing. And, mm. and we were just spreading like wildfire. Mm. So on weekends, we'll do our, get our, content creation. And then we also started having an, uh, an arm in the corporate. Now, obviously they thought we were crazy when we first yeah, stepped yeah, in the yeah. You see us shouting at players and stuff. You yeah. don't know if these boys are really stable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then when we sit down and like, nah, you know, I work for your favorite company, yeah. AZ. Um, you know, David's tr um, a pilot and your are, you yeah. know what I mean? Um, they were sells. like, hold on, these boys, are, they're, they're like, they've got something yeah. here. Yeah. It's like, hang on a minute. Are these guys, mm. they even really stupid or smart. It's mm. one of the two. Uh, but thankfully, you know, they thought we were capable and we were just smashing our jobs, bro. Um, mm. I just had a little one at the time. So I just knew it was the time to work hard. I mm. don't know what it was. I could feel it in my balls, bro. Yeah, you could feel I just them tingling, to, right? The spidey tingling, senses bro. is going on. You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. I just knew that I need yeah. to work hard. And um, just before Euro 2016, I just, I had to leave my, my original pharmaceutical company because I went to Almoral, fantastic people there. And I, I just said, I got, I got, I got to pack it in. And it's not like I was reigning with money or anything. People think when you go full time, yeah, all of a sudden, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh. I had to be smart. I had to move back home. I had to do everything mm -hmm. to make sure that the money was there for me to try yeah. to carry on. Uh, but this is the thing that people don't realize. And this is, I mean, Gary Vee says a lot of this kind of stuff. He's like, listen, you need to stop worrying about what people are thinking <clears throat> and start thinking, okay, what sacrifices do I have to make? Because I see the bigger picture coming. Do you know what I mean? And people, a lot of the time, A, they don't see the bigger picture because it's not theirs, right? They don't see what you're feeling. They don't see the traction. They just, you know, oh, these guys are doing something. It's not going to amount to nothing or it's going to, or even if it does, it's easy for them. Like They don't see the behind the scenes of all the yeah. sacrifices you have to make and all the kind of, the stuff as Everything. it's happening, you're feeling it. Like even the little things, like going from, you know, 100 views to 200 views to a normal person seeing that, that's nothing. But to you, you're just like, I just, 2x my, you know, my views. Everything's a double. The, yeah, yeah. All the cards you give and you tell people subscribe to the channel, yeah, yeah. Da, 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 all that kind of stuff. It's all, yeah. it all counts. Mm. 
and you have to make it count. It's a business. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Um, in fact, I'm going to go back to doing that, you know, door to door. I'm going to print out some five cards and I'm yeah, going to yeah. go to the stadiums and make sure they're all laminated and stuff, you know. Right. And I'm going to keep it under the seats just, and just stick them to the I'm, seats. Listen, yeah. I don't care yeah. because I've done the grind and I'm willing to do it again to make sure that we achieve what it is that we're trying to mm. achieve. That's why I respect your thing. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Because people, even you kindly getting me out here, mm. kindly, right? You still have to organize for transport. You still yeah. have to make sure that your team's sorted. You still have to make sure you're available. You still yeah. have to make sure your wife's okay for you being okay. I don't know who wears the trousers. No, at home, yeah, but yeah. yeah, but you you got to make sure. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, so people even yeah. the accommodating someone is just as important. That's why I'm respectful with time. Yeah. I'm respectful with people's efforts mm. because people don't understand. They don't see it, and they don't see the they don't see what goes on behind the scenes. And the funny thing is, it's like I had this conversation with my brother when I was first starting the podcast, mm. and he was like. Nah, bro, you need to be niche. You need to only do fitness and personal training and blah, blah, blah. I was like, no, fuck that, bro. I want one day to be a stripper and the next day to be a scientist and then the president on the next day. And then, do you know what I mean? I want to make interesting content. He's like, nah, it's never going to work. Oh, wow. I was like, but sometimes yeah. it's the people that love us the most. Yeah. And, and they and do yeah, it. Yeah, they he don't didn't mean do it. it. Yeah, they don't he do just, it. To... He was thinking, I want to try and get you there faster. But then I was yeah. like, no, bro. Like, you know, Confucius, choose, choose a job you love and you never work a day in your life. So the way I'm doing is I, I want to do what I want to do. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And let it work. And like, when I look at my phone now, compared to when I started, it's like when I first started, it was two, three of my friends. Are you, are you one of those people now that now that you're doing well, you just ignore people? Nah, not at all. I don't like people like that, you know? Not at all. I try to not ignore my, my <coughs> nah, audience. Nah. It's impossible to speak to I everyone. Answer, I answer every message. Bro. Is it? Every message. Listen, it's going to get tough. It it's, is. And it's getting tougher, yeah, yeah. I know it is, but I try. Yeah. And My especially best. the genuine ones. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. When you yeah. see someone who's genuine, like yeah. for example, the other day when I had um, I had Sanya on, and I, I kind of got Mikhail to kind of hide upstairs, and I told him, yeah, he can't make it, whatever. So he surprised him on the thingy. So I've got another friend of mine who's a fan of the show. Um, that's how we became friends. Massive Arsenal fan. Wow. Massive. Wow. Like, and to be a massive Arsenal fan from here, yeah. Do you know what I mean? You yeah. know that they invest a lot of that. He's got mm. all the Arsenal shirts from wow. from back in the day like way before even writing and all of those wow. till now. Yeah. And <clears throat> he was like, oh, I told him, yeah, I've got Sanya coming on and blah, blah, blah. And he was like, oh yeah, you know, and I know I didn't even tell him. I just said, bro, listen, come to the studio. Yeah, wow. And uh, hang out, watch one of them live because you can wow. watch it live from upstairs. Yeah, yeah. Um, he actually wanted to meet you as well. I told him, yeah, just come through. Oh, man. Um, I told him, yeah, just come yeah. to the studio. He came here, bro. He, he walks in and, you know, he's greeted by Mikhail and then Sanya's saying hello and he signed two free shirts for him. And, nice. And, like that to, to be able to do that it's for nice. someone, yeah. it's a really nice feeling. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like yeah. it doesn't cost yeah. you nothing. Yeah. You yeah. know, you get a lot of people that they they get like twenty k followers and they're just like yeah, so mate. up themselves. And it's yeah, like, mate. come on, mate, calm down, get over yourself. It's like yeah. a, you 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 have to be nice to everyone on the way, not mm. just because of the saying they go when you come down, you're yeah, gonna yeah. need a David. Like that is true yeah. as well. But you have to be nice because I always say when we were when we were coming up and we were being blessed with working with all these corporate companies and all and 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 the the natural stuff even when people would get us at us in the comments mm. whatever it is we try to reply with positivity mm. do you know what i mean it's easy to turn around and say shut up you yeah, prick yeah, you, bro. what are you talking kids, about what, you what, don't know what, what are you, you doing like, like shut up go man. And like, your sunday yeah, league today, player friend bro <laughs> yeah today like i was yeah. getting it today like for no reason i just thought bro but you try to just like you take a deep breath yeah and you say, okay, how can I reply positively yeah. to this? And sometimes it works. Sometimes someone still tells you to shout. You're like, yeah. well, I tried. Yeah, you're and, like you're, and again, you're not going to be able to reply to everyone. It's impossible. But you, you can't, know? this is the problem. Yeah. This world of haters is weird. Mm. So I, I, my last guest before you was a, a lady called Doreen. Mm -hmm. Guinness World Record holder. She, she got amputated her leg. Ooh. When she was 15, she had bone cancer. So mm. from her hip down, she's got a prosthetic leg. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Even her get these weird hate comments of people making fun of stuff. And I'm just thinking... Where are you in your brain and in life when, People when you want to do that? Do you know what I mean? It just doesn't make any mm. sense. But you know what it is as well, I realized, yeah. Mm. You're in digital space. Mm. You get to meet all these people, as you remind us, you have loads of celebrity friends. Uh, <laughs> I, I didn't say that, that was as, before as, the podcast, as, but as, as you, remind you mentioned us, it, you know. <laughs> yeah. uh, but it's people think that digital is a different world from mm. real life. And, and and they also think that people don't, their feelings don't yeah, get hurt. Yeah. You know, I know this now because you could talk about a player or something like that. You yeah. see him and he's, 
Yeah. You know bro, what I mean? I said the same thing when I was with Sanyo and that. Yeah. Like, they were talking about Arsenal. I was like, come on, bro. What, yeah. look, look, look at Arsenal yeah. now. And they were like, hold on a minute. Yeah. No, it's true. Yeah. But obviously, we could, yeah. we still still be able to joke and express our opinion. it's coming from a place opinion. of love. Do you know what I mean? It's not and a, that's, that's the yeah. difference. But some people, they generally sit there mm. and they go, yeah, I'm just going to personally rip this player because you in your head you think he's never going to see it or she's never yeah. going to see it and I'm, there's, there's none of that chat shit get banged there's, reality yeah there's, there isn't yeah, none yeah. of that jamie vardy yeah, yeah, yeah. you know but the reality is sometimes someone will come and see you and have a word with you and yeah. say hey and what you usually get in comments if you reply to a couple oh yeah, yeah. Mate, you actually replied. Some of them uh, wanted, yeah, yeah, they wanted oh, to get a reaction oh, from you. Yeah, they sorry, didn't expect, mate, I was only oh, joking. Fair yeah, play. You know what? I actually respect what you do. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it's funny because when you see people in real life, they never, ever come. You never, ever get, yeah, yeah. you know, what you read in the comments. It's always, yeah. dude, love your stuff. Do you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Whatever. Because they know, yeah. come on, a man like you, you might have to put man in a headlock yeah, yeah. or something you know like that. What we need to do, you know, like, you know, Doug the Bounty Hunter? Yeah. We need to create one for like keyboard warriors. Yeah. So you just literally, they get a message like, I don't know who you are. Yeah. I don't know what you want, but what oh, I do man. know is I have a certain level of skills. <laughs> I just send them with addresses, bro. Oh, That's what man. Anonymous should have done. I, Anonymous should have just sent out bare trolls and like addresses imagine? and sent people. Yeah. But someone did that once, I think. Um, they figured out someone's address and went to them and is they it? filmed it. It's on YouTube, yeah. And the guy's it? just prank, bro. He's just like, I'm so sorry, I'm yeah, so but, sorry. Yeah, but you see what I'm like, saying? And, and, and yeah. it's one of those ones there where I'd rather turn a hater into a subscriber. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? If I can. Not even that. Or into a person that thinks. <laughs> into yeah, yeah, a decent yeah, exactly, person. Exactly, exactly. Because that's also what you're doing. Because mm. when you when you do kind of, when they do change, they're kind of thinking, hold on, I was a bit of a dick. For oh, no yeah, because it's there. Especially yeah. some of these guys, they could have started off on the wrong foot. And sometimes now when there's Arsenal results, they'll yeah, yeah. like, Joe, what do you think? Of? Yeah, yeah. And I'm not even getting into the whole, um, the racist stuff or the abuse that we yeah. get. That's a completely oh, different. No, we're going to get into that. We're going to get into that. That's wild. You yeah. know, like it's, it's mad when you see no, that. We're going to cover that for sure. Yeah. But before we do, because that's some juice, and I want to save like every mm. 20 minutes, we're going to spit some juice at you. <laughs> so so I want to, how did it feel when you started getting stuff? Because you do a lot of other, other sports as well. Mm -hmm. So that's what some people don't realize. Like you're just all over the place. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Making sure that you got your fingers in a lot of pies. And, yeah. And, you know, and that's essentially, if you want to be a TV personality or something, you need to be flexible. You need yeah. to be able to. So when you started getting the, the Sky Sports and the, the NFLs and all that stuff. Like, when mm -hmm. was it when you were like, hold on a minute, this is something's actually happening here? Do you know what? We started getting booked for quite a lot, mm -hmm. uh, whether it be myself or especially David at the time because we were like a duo. Do mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And and you know, we we're, we're good now. We went through our stage where you know as friends, mm -hmm. you go your own way. But we're we we're, we're good now. We're both doing our own thing, whatever, mm -hmm. and it's great. You grow in it, like you know. Some people once they go their own way, mate, that's it. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, and no deck, it's done. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's just mad. But for us, it's been completely different. We've been able to shoot up and stuff like that. And what Wait, when he says shoot up, he means sh like uh, shoot up in the industry. Shoot up no, in the no, industry. No, nah. Not in the alley in the behind Tesco's. Nah, I don't, I don't even know what that is. I don't even know what that is. No idea. But um, but yeah, so. Basically, what we realized when we when we were in the industry is that our authenticity mm. of not knowing what some of these sports were is actually an introduction for brands to use you. Mm. So, for example, when I went to my first horse racing event, I didn't know about horse racing. Yeah, yeah. And that's what it is. They want to bring new people into the yeah. environment. See, back in the day, it's just like, no, you're just football. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, all yeah. you know. Yeah. You stay there. Well, no, make your own rules. Yeah. Just because you did fitness doesn't yeah. mean you got to stay in fitness. Exactly. You want to know about, you know, athletes yeah, yeah. in this different area, that different area. There's no rules, yeah. bro. There's and, no and rules. And the people you bring with you also don't know about it. They so, don't know. So it's even better for them because you're like, all right, guys, listen, exactly. we're going to talk about fucking horses. None of us know what horses is, but let's figure this out together let's kind go. of thing. So they're just let's like, go. they're getting a whole nother niche let's of people go. that they didn't have before. Let's go. So and what did you learn from horse riding? Uh, <laughs> what, what I learned is flipping fun and there's people yeah. with money there. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. So you know, especially in this country, like yeah. <clears throat> we own a couple of horses. Oh, wow. Uh, that are uh, and then winners. You know. and winners, then you know. bro. Winners, bro. Yeah, I, I like that. You know how much some of them horses are worth? Bro. How much? Like you're talking double figure millions. You're joking. Yeah, bro. You're joking. No, yeah, bro. What AED or, or no, pounds? Bro, pounds, bro. You know the horses that that go to what's it called? You should know this because you commented on it. What's that horse? That, I went. That, I went as that, a to enjoy the event. What, what's the big event that they do every year where the horses race and all that stuff? They ah, oh, they got loads. Um, yeah, but it's, yeah. A, it's a main Ascot one. And like that. Yeah. yeah, Ascot. So they. The, the one, the winners and the, the thoroughbred horses, yeah. they're worth millions. You're bro. joking. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Probably. I mean, it I'm makes thinking sense. Of they're the ones that. This guy's in the camel woods trying to put it in there. Bro, I saw guy. something the other day, bro. This is no word of a lie. Yeah. 
they so basically there were people so they're doing these beauty pageants for camels bro mm -hmm. only in the middle of the sand in the desert did someone say let's yeah. get our beautiful camels and compare them and some of people got started getting disqualified because they were doing Botox and lip fillers. No <laughs> I way. swear that, bro, on the camel. Wow. So they were like proper getting, like that's how deep it goes, that you got camels out there with like lip fillers, Botox, that all that stuff. So they had to be like, hold on a minute, like you're not allowed to do that. Can you imagine trying bro. to do that in the UK? Bro. The animal like, activist people will go bro, nuts. Bro. Trying to do a lot of stuff in the UK is, is difficult, it, bro. It's a bit mad. I stuff. think uh, cancel culture is becoming ridiculous now. Really? Yeah, bro. It's like, look, I mean, I know for a fact I'm going to get cancelled about 18 times next year because I speak my mind. And mm -hmm. and it's not in a sense where I have any views that are, that are really bad, but it's like I should be able to say my opinion. It's just an opinion. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Everyone should have be able to have their opinion. And when you see like comedy now and, and a lot of stuff... That or Dave do, Chappelle getting cancelled. Stupid. It's just stupid, bro. You reckon? Yeah. Ridiculous. It's, it's ridiculous. I don't, I don't agree with it. It's like... Comedy should be the only place where people can say pretty much where they want because it's a joke. It's framed as a joke. Like, unless they leave there and then go and do some raw stuff. Like, if, if, if he was like a, a, a transgender, you know, anti-transgender activist in real life mm -hmm. and he went out with big boards every day and really tried to make their life difficult, then you could be like, all right, this guy's a bit of a, you know, he's taking a piss. Like, he's making life difficult. Mm -hmm. um, but it's just like... Get you know, over it. I, I like Dave Chappelle. You know, yeah. that's all I can say about it. Like, yeah. I, I like Dave. I think he's one of the most creative people that I've ever, ever yeah. seen in my life. And um, I still haven't been to one of his shows yet. Yeah. But I'm due. I went to one here a long time D ago. Did he come here? Yeah, yeah. He came here years ago. He, he comes here quite a lot. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, he came to the UK a few Chocolate. times. Chocolate, it's a doodle, baby. Oh, man. <laughs> I love classic. Dave it's just you know his classic voice as well. He, his cadence, like hey, he's, he's he's the man. He's one of my, he's definitely someone that yeah, I look yeah. at. And if you take, for example, his skill set, and it's what we were talking about before, I'm really about going against the grain. Mm. When I when I get to know someone, mm. and I can see that that's what they're on. Mm. Obviously, it's good when someone's business business savvy or whatever. Okay, he's smart. He's done this, but. Someone who you know, like for example, your brother said, "Nah, just just mm. do this," and you said, "No, I'm gonna do that." Mm. And as weird as it sounds, when I hear that, immediately, that's my guy yeah, yeah, because because yeah. you're like, that's like me. Like, yeah, that's, like it's just yeah, like, yeah, yeah. and I understand it. Yeah, and I know that whether it becomes a multi-million company, mm. you know, or not, you still you, enjoy doing it brother, as well. You, yeah. No one can turn around and say, "I, I kid you not." Yeah, I see so many people every day. And they, for example, they might see what it is that we do or what mm. I do. And they go, wow, it must be so great. That da, 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 and, you know, just to do what you want to do, man. And then I kind of, and I, I have to remind myself that oh, shit, not yeah, everyone, yeah, yeah. you know, Gets shout to out to it. everyone who's going to work and they're doing their thing. But some people generally want to get out and they can't. Mm. And it's tough and they want to. And then I go, oh, crap. Oh, yeah, I was just able to fly out to Dubai and, and do a podcast. Mm. Mm. This is work? Yeah. Is it really? Yeah, bro, do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So I have to remember that. So back to where we were on our journey, right? Because I know yeah. there's different, ta you know, yeah. there's different in, in tangents in that if, that, if that's a word or not. Yeah. But um, so after we we realized that we were getting booked, yeah, yeah AJ, we were just like going here, going there. Um, Euro 2016 comes and we got taken by a company out there. Uh, we went out with uh, one of the lads, Ben Haynes, uh, uh, I think he's a leader in, in our digital industry. Uh, we went out to the Euros and boom. After, I think we went with uh, 90 Min, really big football company. So we went out there and we did the Euros and stuff. And we realized that, you know, like there's just so much opportunity talking mm -hmm. with the fans. It was all fresh and new, you know. And again, I remember we, we did a Hublot event as well where I think we had met Rio and did some stuff like kick-ups and other legends. Pele and Maradona played that game. Wow. Mad, you know. Um, who else did we see? Ah, we saw some legends. I think, I don't know if Crespo was there. I know um, ah, loads of mm. legends. I can't Big remember. Names. Big names. I yeah, need yeah. to check the video. I just remember thinking Seedorf was there. Yeah, yeah. You know, certain man that I'm just like, yeah. Seedorf is here now. Is he? He just started a football academy with Khabib. Weirdly enough, that's yeah, man. Yeah, but yeah. Do, do you see Seedorf? Yeah? yeah, he could still play football today. Yeah, yeah. The the guy is so criminally underrated. Yeah, yeah. 
it's it's insane mm. what I saw. Like he steps ahead of everyone else. Mm. I think Rio had just finished playing, so he was doing his thing, centre back or whatever, and it was just big. And then we we started chatting at the end, and doing kick ups, and I don't even think he knew who we were. Who he remembered? He remembered the event when I speak to him about it, but he didn't mm. know us in it. But he was cool. And then I remember just thinking, oh man, we need to get him on our, our vlogs and blah, 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 blah. So cut story short now, one day, this is how hungry we were. We saw him um, when he finished commentating after like a game and we really wanted to get him and our taxi drove past. I was telling the taxi man, stop, we need to jump out and get him. And mm. I was just so hungry to, yeah. just, to just get these people and create content and we couldn't get him. And I remember being upset. Yeah. When I look at it now, I go, I don't know why I'm upset because I swear I was at an event with him a few days before. But yeah. in my head, like my heart was broken. I was mm. just like, I'm just going to get him and get his opinion. And I was just wanting to create stuff. Boom, we do a successful Euros. I don't go back to work. I start working with another company slash football, all these different companies where they're trying to, and our name is getting further. Every weekend we're going to games, we're doing mm. things, we're really creating a fan base. Um, and we're just working hard, bro, getting better, mm. funnier. And then, you know, as the years went, bro, we like we started going to all these events. I'll pick up my, my passport and just say, yo, LeBron James has just moved to flipping Lakers. Why don't I just travel to the States and create content? Yeah. I'll just get on a plane, bro. I'll go up there, stay at my auntie's, uh, my uncle's house, you know, stay at my cousin's house. I'll just go and create content. Whether someone was paying for it via sponsorships or not, or not yeah. I'll flip in act like they were. Yeah. Come back, get even more jobs. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I was hustling, bro. Yeah. Like... And then I could feel that there was a creative side. So I started being reached out to by former players. So people like Kanu, big massive shout out to him and his wife. Mm. They had us work on this documentary. They flew us around the world. No, in um, another one. we went to Nigeria and we went to India as well. So we're we're doing our weekly shows, but we're also- Integrating everything integrating else. Everything really, yeah. else, developing our presenting skills, mm. right? developing our project management skills so when people are talking to you they're thinking you're not just crazy kids running around yeah, yeah. shouting and going ah, you know yeah. and and being seen as this wacky sport even though it's yeah, yeah. sport. so yeah and as the years went bro we're just going hard going hard in 2019 or end of 19 i said to myself i'm gonna start traveling the world even more because mm. yes the industry is growing but it becomes a little bit mm. You know, what's saturated. the word again? Saturated. I just started traveling the world, bro. Even more. Ramping it up. St I'll book tickets. If I book tickets somewhere, I'll get a sponsor to sponsor mm. it. If or they the don't hotel sponsor or it, something else like either way. Listen, in. I'm going. Mm. I started going to the burnabout. My followers and views. We had like a really big cheeky sport account that got shut down like twice. Like crazy. Yeah, that? can't get that back, bro. It's gone. But, can. you know, we were, I don't know. Well, if you can, then that'll, you know, let's... Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So it's literally, bro, like we were just growing and growing and growing. And then um, I started doing more work with the Nikes of this world, more work with these brands and still doing our thing. And then COVID hit and it was just like, everyone, right? Ah, what do we do? And I remember reaching out to my friends and saying, yo, you know what? When the, 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 the rules were lifted a little bit. I said, I need to go to like my local shopping center, Croydon, I'm from Southeast London. Yeah. Shout out to everyone, you know what it <laughs> is. Uh, but yeah, so, and I'm like, yo, I want to create this content. You know, it's about relationships. And that's what you started asking people about. Yeah, yeah. yeah and then there were, and people were like, why do you want to do it though? Because you've already done that. Yeah. Why are you, but again. That's not football. And you're just it's like, not, yeah. you're not listening. Bro. Yeah, you're, you're not, not listening yeah, because yeah. everyone's doing kick ups with socks. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. I'm not doing that. Yeah, the yeah. whole world is doing yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I don't toilet want rolls no, toilet. Shit. I'm not trying to do that, bro. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. I think I did it on my stories like mm. once or something. I'm yeah, like, yeah. I'm not doing this every week. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? And I just weren't on it. For me, content should be, um, you know, engaging. Mm. And I think just before that, I skipped a story. Uh, actually, I started going to all these events, and and I would bump into Rio again. Like this time, it was a, a, a FIFA event with Rashford and whatever, and we were creating some sick content. And then I'm like, yo. Real. Like, I don't know if he remembers me at these times or not, but I'm like, yo, listen, I'm the guy, man. We need to 
do something like yeah. yo like if you need that and he's very like you're like i can already see three years from now so yeah. get in now yo. this is an early yeah. opportunity this is bitcoin bro i'm bitcoin in the beginning bro don't, yeah. don't miss out on this coin bro i'm gonna yeah, use yeah. that in the future of yeah, someone yeah. like i'm bitcoin yeah, yeah. fam what yeah. i'm nft bro yeah, yeah. I'm do it now do it now bro, uh, you know because you don't want to be the one that's looking back i'm and telling saying, you I invest. but he was so the thing i, I respect about rio and and i see i see as a and as a visionary, right, is that that's why Five mm. was ahead of its time. He saw it 10 years ago when he was getting Billy Wingrove and, mm. do you know what I mean, Jeremy to go and do kickups with Ronaldo, Robinho, mm. like to have that vision before someone was doing it. The magazine, all the stuff that him and the guys were doing, him and Chris and the guys involved. I just thought, wow, like you were really ahead of your time. Mm. And when, when I had seen him at that event, they had just tried to stop him from doing the boxing you know, cause he was trying to box yeah, yeah. at one point. And I thought, it's so weird, isn't it? Again, when you're trying to do stuff, he got so much flack yeah. for doing boxing. Yeah. Who the bloody heck is making the most money out of boxing now? Yeah. Probably KSI and flipping bro, Jake Paul and, do you, you know what I mean? It's the same thing. Probably knocked out, what's his name, bro? I don't even want to get into it. Did, did, was you know it, how much money he made? How much? Bro, millions. But that's bro. what I'm saying, so. And he knocked out Woodley as well, which made even worse, bro, because it's like, that just means more millions coming. Do you see what I'm saying? just waiting for someone to get, yeah? Now, so now it's a thing where, that's why I don't yeah. like to listen to don't what let people, people are, stop yeah, you doing. Your unless thing, it's yeah. something that's morally wrong. Yeah, yeah. yeah if morally it, or physically dangerous when you're just like, yeah, yeah I'm going to start skydiving without a parachute. It's yeah, a new trend. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't involved like, in it. Yeah. That's you, bro. No, you're doing that when you come back. Bro. No, 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 never. Come back, you're skydiving. Never. Remember, he said never. that. Never. Yeah, you see me? That's say, say, ne say, I'm never going to do skydiving. I'm never going to do it. Let me tell you something. Unless, unless I get paid. Look at that. Unless I get paid wealthy money mm. man's not doing it bruv say skydiving because i want to add it to the clip sky diving oh, unless cool. you pay me a Watch. good Watch. solid amount Watch of money that i'm coming. happy with i am not doing skydiving 2022 for no i'm really excited to bring you joel skydiving yeah, video cool. that he did for free for free yeah you bro must are you mad? mad i'm just gonna add some like really you i'm gonna add some mad. really big charity to it and be like look these kids listen, these kids joel listen, like they need you to skydive there's stuff, different bro. ways i've got kids too yeah, bro yeah, where's my charity don't, don't worry bro. you know what i mean no, no, nah, 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 nah. i need charity yeah, too you know so so <laughs> basically yeah so basically yeah so i saw him at this event and i'm like yo Next thing you know, he puts me in touch with uh, um, one of his agents slash manager, and and we were good because we just stayed in touch as the years went, you know. Mm. Um, and fair play to him, he was always kind of like supporting and watching. He's part of Rio's extension of eyes mm. and ears. Um, so Chris was like watching, watching, watching as the years would go, meet up, blah blah blah. Anyway, cut story short. Um, when COVID hit, I just decided to. I'm like, forget this. I'm gonna make sure that my co content mm. standing out. I don't post as much as other people. But when I do post Equality. once a week or, you know, every five days or whatever it is, mm. I'll intensely think about what I'm trying to pursue out there. Now, at the current moment, I'm a presenter. Mm. I know that I don't get 10 million views when I post, mm. but I want to obtain jobs that show what it is that I can do. So I'm going to post I'm gonna what I do, my, my, my qualities. My yeah. qualities yeah. Do you know what I mean? So that's why I'm out there talking to random people on the street, mm. you know, doing this, doing that. I'm holding the microphone, bro. So, so when people it, start to associate you with the microphone there you yeah. go you know so it, you don't lose that so then I'm, I'm just doing project and at the same time i let them know yo you know i also do this right and mm. i do this right and, blah, 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 blah. and when people trust you and you got a good name good name you don't look down on people good name you go and you do what you're supposed to do that message it comes is so directed back. for someone he ain't no, dropping no, no names no no it's not even that it's to <laughs> yeah. everyone yeah, yeah because what you find i think you said this off camera or maybe on camera, people start to get a little buzz and all of a sudden they mm. forget who they are. Yeah, yeah. You know, or nah, man. If mm. if it's worth it, where someone's not just trying to use you, if it's something that's worth it, let's try to do something. Mm. Be good to your fans. Yeah. Be good to the person that's saying, yo, I, I like your stuff, bro. I really support. Especially if, you know what I mean, they, they're doing it and it's genuine, bro. Like, make sure you're appreciating them. Don't look down on them. Mm. Because sometimes you could be looking down on someone because you think you've got more followers than them, but you don't know that they hold the keys. Mm. They hold the keys. Yeah. Or you could look. The janitor could be, <laughs> could the, be the janitor. It could everything. be my man over there yeah. in the blue shirt. Shout out to mm. him. Or the brother that looks a little bit like Thierry Henry yeah. on, on that side <laughs> of it. It could be him. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And, and yeah, so literally that was it. And doors were opening for me in COVID, during COVID, that other people didn't have. Yeah. You know, personally, I was going through some stuff. Yeah. Touch on a little bit. Yeah. 
you know, I didn't see my daughter for personal reasons, but mm. I channeled all the issues I was having when I had to, you know, sort all of that out. Mm. Um, but I channeled it towards you're work. You're just using it as wood for the fire, man. You're like, all right, cool. Literally, let's, man. Let's, let's, you know what I mean? Throw it in there and let, at least the fire's burning. And let's yeah, go. man. And, and, I'm, and I'm a believer of God, so I'll just, I'll just be in church. I'll be doing what I, 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 you know, I felt I needed to do to keep myself focused mm. and improve as a person. So, so then after that, I just, I kid you not, I'm still like, we do this thing called tithes. I'm still giving my tithes. Every time mm. I get paid, I give my tithes. I was doing things that are, you know, what I call principles, mm. in it, That what we live just by. Just mandatory standard. Mandatory yeah. standard stuff, bro. You build, like and you, offerings, you know, you, you, everything. It becomes a mantra, bro, because it, it, it kind of like, you, without doing it, it just slowly seeps into you so much that you start to do it so naturally that it comes. It's I'm the first thought. You, I'm before telling anything you, it's else, the yeah. first thought. And then it's not to say that I'm a perfect human being and things are about rules and whatever because it's all about grace. But at the same time, I'm just doing what I'm supposed to be doing. You know, trying my best, shall I mm. say, trying my absolute best. Uh, sometimes not even my absolute best, if I'm honest. But then next thing you know, just doors are just opening bit by bit. You know, uh, one day, Rio wants to do something on five he was also trying to keep busy mm. he was like Ra, i want you to interview me i'm like Ra, cool and then i was in dubai later on filming a movie for myself yeah, yeah a little ig story for myself i got on a plane decided to do it whilst i'm out here he's like i want you to so he mm. kept seeing me as a go-to guy and i would not let him down yeah every time he would ask me for something just you know produce. i'll just yeah let's do it because i knew i say it straight i'm not even um shy to say it that when you got man like that that see your talent before anyone else, you have to also see it as um as a blessing, bro. Like these people, they got like a yeah. vision in it. Yeah, obviously, I, I know I'm worth something because he's not gonna. No one's yeah, asking yeah. no one to just do something for the sake of it. But he, you have to yeah, also yeah. appreciate stuff. Yeah. And it's not just them seeing your talent; it's the fact that they respect yeah. your talent. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And it, it takes a lot to earn their respect, bro, because they yeah. get one million people a week telling them hey look at me i can do this Come i on. can do this i can do this so when yeah. they approach you it's just like all right they fizzled out all the people that are just jokers yeah, and yeah, all yeah. that stuff and he's like okay i can i can i can respect what this guy's doing and i want him on board and i rate him because yeah. I, like I, I said earlier on he's a visionary mm. like he's always seen where things are going or he's always willing to try and that's why he when it comes to pundits and stuff like that without the backing of no shots at lovely people like Gary Neville and yeah. whatever, but he's able to like really drive mm. something, you know, and put the right people in the space to mm. really push it organically. Yeah. And not a lot of people have that, do you know, I'm coming from. So as COVID was, uh, was going on, I, I was asked as well, I was freelancing in different places doing my thing. I was asked to come in one day and they said, oh, um, Rio wants to, you know, do his channel five again. Like he wants to revamp it. And I just came in on like on a consultancy thing. And I looked at the page, you know, looked at the tools, looked at what was going on, spent some time. And I said, look, you need to do this, 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 this. You need to get Houseen because he's got this resource to the Houseen's like you. Mm. Like pisses me off sometimes. <laughs> does. I'll be honest with you, you know, yeah. but he's very clever, you know, like he's very talented when it comes to a mm. lot of stuff like delivers, journalistic content very well and his setup you know he's mm. the closest person that i've mm. seen that will go and be like, i'm doing this this that that you know we'll get on like a house on fire mm. talk about cameras all day long all that yeah, stuff mate, like mate. you know <laughs> yeah. just i see yeah. him just gleaming the guy in the blue t-shirt <laughs> yeah. loves it house yeah. but he's very self-sufficient and it's all about being as self-sufficient as you can mm. in your field so i was just like we need to partner up we need to do this and then they were like do you want to be involved and i was just like yeah if it fits You're like, like yeah, yeah maybe but i was being serious yeah, yeah. because i also believe in organic yeah, content and you don't also want to just be put in something just because oh it's the opportunity to yeah, be real like, i'd rather, and it doesn't I'd work, rather and like, keep my name yeah, well so yeah. we started doing it and the first few episodes were rubbish we did yeah. them for like three four weeks and it just wasn't working until one day the main man got put in the group chat, mm. you know, and bearing in mind, I've I've seen him, spoken to him and stuff for years. And sometimes the culture gets comfortable because they know that yeah. he's part of the culture and he's very, you know, he, yeah. he can be very nice to people or whatever, but don't get it twisted. Mm. When you're six time, when a six time Premier League winner comes and mm. Champions League and whatever, and he comes in and stuff like that, I will never forget that moment because I work with a lot of people, bro. Mm. I've worked with celebrities up and down, you name it. But for some reason, I've always respected him. Mm. I don't know why, but I ha always have in it. 
So, and I respect the way he thinks. So when he came in the group chat, I was like, oh crap, this is real now, mm. you know? And I always saw the vision, like thinking, oh, we could actually do something sick. So we all started doing it, sitting down together on Zoom. And at the time, Zoom was yeah, yeah. great, innit? Like yeah. everyone just figured out Zoom, everyone thought yeah, they were genius. Very smart, bro. Mate, you know what I mean? So we're sitting down, we're doing these Zoom interviews and every week, we just, we're only doing one video a week, but every week we're tweaking, seeing how we can improve every week during that year when mm. there was corona like every week we were working hard behind the back end yeah not just just trying to figure it out and just nah, be like let's see no nah, but yeah. sometimes it is let's see you know but we're working hard and next thing you know we start doing interviews that bang i think the first one that we did which was amazing that like, went viral was ravel morrison he used to play for united that yeah. one went far and then a few months later and down the line we did rude van nistelrooy and then the, the euros came and it was an amazing Euros. Mm. It was sad that I didn't get to the games, but I, you know we had a contract and we had a deal that I would be doing what I was doing with Five. Um, I said, okay, never again am I gonna just stay yeah, in the yeah. studio. But in terms of the deal itself, you know, like it, it was great to 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 really learn and create content. And we set ourselves up for this season. Mm. And this season has started and it's been brilliant. You know, the only thing that's not always been a hundred. Yeah, no, for, for, for the, the channel. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> for the channel. The only thing that messes it up is when United don't win. Yeah, yeah. Then all the all the United fans get angry and they get yeah, angry with me. Yeah, like, yeah. what are you getting angry with me <laughs> for, bro? Yeah, I'm not even United. Like, you yeah, know but you're brave though, because, yeah, because you go I tell to them. United matches, bro. I go and but I enjoy Rio's again, lifestyle. I will. Is, but this is again another thing just to, to derail a minute. Yeah. People respect you. Not a lot of people can go to a, a different team's I know. stand. I know. Stand there amongst them mm. and take the piss out of their team and them laugh with you and kind of embrace you. That takes a lot, bro. Like it's not a it's not a fit like I dare you now <laughs> to go to a Chelsea match, not you, but just a normal person. Mm. Where a you know, an Arsenal top and start bad mouthing Chelsea. I mean, it's not it's everyone really, that accepts it. Yeah. We just don't put it in, in the camera when it's that bad, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. But overall, overall I get love, like, yeah, man. Yeah. Like the fans, like will be like, I tell you what, you out of all the Arsenal fans, you're the best one yeah, out there. Or yeah, yeah. you know, you get things like that, whether they're telling the truth or not. Yeah, that's yeah. another thing. But it's because I'm also I can take the piss, but I'm also not disrespectful. Mm. Let's be honest, I can be Mr. Arsenal, but I know how big of a club man United yeah, yeah. is, isn't it? Like you I still know, know it. Yeah. I know yeah. the history. I think I know the history more than some of these yeah, yeah. these fans. And I just think to myself, when I think the standards are not high, mm. the fans will get pissed off with me. I'm like, no, yeah. but you are Man United. Yeah. I would difference. say the you're same. coming from a legacy here. You're like you're coming from some. No. Do you know what I mean? When yeah. we grew up, it was Arsenal United. Yeah, that was it. That was it. Yeah. And on top of that, what I think is very funny is how we were so sick at marketing. Because if you look at Arsenal United, Fergie won like bloody 13 mm. Prems and Wenger won three. Mm. So how we even made it yeah, seem exactly. like it was close yeah. is a mad thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but it's just the way it was marketed and, and, and the Premier League was in such a new place. Mm. And, you know, it was amazing. It was great times. Mm. So I know the expectancy, bro, of, of Man United to an extent because I've been watching them since I, I've been watching football yeah. so um, but it's amazing like I get to you know enjoy the lifestyle that you know Rio, Rio give us the exclusive tickets I'm like don't worry mate yeah, yeah. you can't make it yeah, yeah. I'll enjoy it I'll be you. there yeah yeah, yeah, yeah yeah and it's great you get to see CR7 you know goats and stuff like that yeah. I get cussed by United fans what are you doing here I'm like don't worry I'll go yeah, to yeah. an Arsenal game next week <laughs> man. I'm yeah, just yeah. enjoy this one today yeah. and yeah we get to go to different games up and down the country and we call it work yeah you know work work but, you know i mean what now that you're getting a lot of brand deals and this is something that i kind of had to check myself with because it's c4 a, shout out to c4, shout out to c4. <laughs> but it's a okay when people are offering you money and stuff it's mm. easy to look at money and go yeah oh yeah cool all these people want to pay me to do stuff but then you got to be careful bro because you can't just take every not all every money is good money yeah exactly not all money is so good how money how do people. you how do you, what do you what is it what do you look for when it comes to brand deals and these kind of things is it gonna is it am i selling the audience short mm. like i'm not trying to be involved in something that i know that i wouldn't buy myself yeah i wouldn't you know what i mean and i think back in the day if i'm to be very honest with you on cheeky sport we would just do anything yeah. because we just needed the money. Yeah. Do you know what I'm coming from? Like, and what that did is it just kills your audience. It killed our audience massively. You know, we had a, a, a channel that went to 100, over 100,000 subscribers. We stopped taking care of it. It just died. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And, but luckily we was able to evolve, you know, but really and truly it just died, you know, mm -hmm. because, and one of the reasons why it died is because you need to treat 
your audience like people mm. would i just come in your house numbers, yeah. and and not numbers would i just come in your house you know with muddy shoes mm. and mud it up and then go ha 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 yeah and then get walk out yeah yeah darkness, I mean, yeah, get yourself you know what i mean i ain't couch. gonna do no i ain't gonna do <laughs> no Dave james. Chappelle and some rick <laughs> james on you you know what i'm saying like so it, it was, it was, it was, I just feel like, yeah, yeah, that yeah, is, that is, 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 you know what I mean? Okay, but, it's, a, uh, but yeah. it's, the way it's just like, I don't remember putting my feet <laughs> on, <laughs> on <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember yeah. putting my feet on Eddie's couch. You know? <laughs> so it's like, and that's what I learned from, from the audience. You need to really, really yeah. like just respect them. Yeah. You know, when I, when we, we deal with the brands and the sponsors and that, yeah. you know, I might do a, okay, we'll do a sign up for tickets one day. Mm. I did one on a story the other day. Mm. Then immediately I said, okay, I'm not going to do that next time because I don't want to, you know, um, just violate the audience yeah, and just yeah. sign up. Something. Because these guys, they really want to be a part of mm. what it is that you're doing. Mm. And I'm a massive a believer in also giving back. So if I can give back tickets without any, oh, you have to do this. Yeah. Nah, let me just give back to you guys. Let's just have a little Q&A. Yeah. And I just want to give back to you guys because it's Christmas, yeah. you know, or because it's this or it doesn't even have to be something necessary i'm just in a good mood guys i just want to give back to yeah, you sure. you know I'll, I'll buy you an arsenal shirt i'll buy you a shirt whoever you support i'm gonna buy free shirts you know and let's just whatever let's come up with something and I'm you know big, things I'm, like that I'm big into shirts man i love my sign shirts. really you see my house when you come to my house my wife is like all right listen i'm trying to our living you. room can't take this many shirts bro so i've got a lot of exclusive shirts and match worn shirts who? That from, who? from everyone so i've got two really nice ones um from Ronaldo and Diabala when they played in uh, Juve. Yeah, but the Coppa Italiana. So it's the only time ever they've had Arabic names and numbers. So they're signed as well. Um, obviously, I got Silvestre and that guy's, but match worn shirts in the mm. World Cup. And mm. um, they gave me gifts. But you collect shirts, right? I don't. I feel like I've given, if you see the amount mm. of shirts that I've given away, because you've got to remember, we used to get our hands on our face signed. Mm. Like Eden Hazard signed it. I know. But I think when you do it on a weekly basis, it almost becomes a job. Like we used to like see yeah, these players come out of a to, tunnel. Now, where is yeah. Eden? My yeah. lovely Eden. Exactly. He's in flipping Spain. Eden. Do you know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. You got, you got to do it, bro. And it's not just like, and like even uh, some people say to me, oh, why do you collect shirts? And I got boots, like I got Zidane boots, like, and he doesn't sign anything, bro. Zidane boots? Yeah, Tyson, boots. Muhammad Ali glove, like, oh, I collect a lot of stuff. And it's not just because of, you can resell them later, it's because when my twins are older and they're like, who's, who's Zidane? And I'll be like, come, sit, sit down. you down. Put the then, TV on, and like, let me show yeah, you who yeah, Zidane yeah, is. Like, yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And just show them stuff. Poetry. Um, but you need to start collecting shirts and get them framed on your wall. Yeah. And since this is the the, the part of uh, the episode where we give each other gifts, I'll give you your just one don't, first. Don't try it. This guy, yeah, he did not say we were swapping gifts. No, he no, just no. said, what bro, shirt do you bro, want? I'm just saying. And also, it's a relevant shirt because it's oh, got to be, that's one uh, signed by Bakari. Do you know what? Sanya, do you know what we're going to do? Know what, that they play. Do you know what we're going to do? Yeah. What are we going to do? Why are you because trying to we, pretend that you because, were... No, because you want to start talking about giving gifts and stuff like that. Because you've treated me so well in Dubai. It smells nice as well. Yeah. Because you've treated... Bakari, you smell nice. Because <laughs> yeah. you treat me so nice out here, yeah? yeah. What I'm going to do, don't be offended, but I'm going to... When this comes out and properly do and stuff like that, a... we're going to give the shirt yeah, to the audience see? watching and I'm going to say it's from, you know, Jibba Jabba. Amazing, bro. And uh, I want to say thank you for treating I'm me so well say, out now here. Now I've got to give you another nah. one of my Sanya shirts, ah, bro, for yourself. Ah, <laughs> you tried to get but, me. But, but this is what I do. But whenever yeah. I get, like, somebody on here like that, I always mm. get two or three signed and then I always you know make sure yeah. that the, the viewers get something because yeah, yeah. they might not get the opportunity to get something like mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. I mean even like that where are you going to get a Sanya sign shirt from now unless you know Sanya or because he's he stopped you. so from long you. ago yeah exactly yeah. <laughs> you know but yeah. he stopped so long ago so these kind of things yeah, yeah. Um, are important yeah, man. I still want my gift tonight bro before you, this before is you the leave. gift bro, bro I'm taking your trainers bro, yeah. bro. <laughs> well, I, can, I can give another one away bro you can't be palming that off um, no. something important I want to talk about bro let's talk about the racism yes um I don't even know where to start. Well, I do know where to start. Mm. What was he thinking putting those three boys, taking those penalties? I don't I don't think he looked at it as a skin colour. Yeah, but bruv. I think it's you need not to you need to because that's the first thing that I saw. I was even talking to Sylvester in that lot about yeah. it. I was like, the first thing I saw I thought, first yeah, thing yeah, that came yeah, to yeah. my mind when they were taking if, it. I thought was if like, they oh, these boys, bro. But like that's the not free thing. Yeah. We shouldn't we think, shouldn't like that. think that, that. I'm not thinking of that. But we because all thought me, that. We thought because oh. of these fuckers, I know what's going to happen. Bro. I know. I knew that the, knew. the monkey horrible, emojis were going to come and I knew that stuff. And I was it's like, horrible. guys, please score it. And when mm. I saw the third one, I was just like, 
for fuck's sake, bro. Yeah. Not for anything but, else, but, but just feeding but, for but them. But that's, I think where tactically I would have done something different is I wouldn't have had Rashford come on so cold or whoever yeah, that's came what on I so mean. cold. Yeah, like I feel both like of San, them. Sancho was yeah. cold. Like, you could see that there was yeah. a lot of... You, you, you got people like it. Grealish who's jumping around yeah, and yeah, trying yeah, to get yeah, your yeah, attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you know, know, and, and he had to come and game. correct it as well. And he said he wanted to... So, you know, if... If, for example, that was Southgate's fault and that side, that's a football mistake. Football. Yeah, no, I don't even think it was Southgate's fault. Yeah. If it was. I just think yeah. it's fucking racism's fault. Like no, we shouldn't be in a position where we should be say. doing it. Yeah. If there's a football in, okay, maybe I should have switched the penalties. That's one thing. Mm. That's just penalties. Mm. But when you're talking about skin colour and yeah. abuse and this and that, that's got nothing to do with, yeah. you know, Southgate or whatever. In fact, like... Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're looking, thinking, why are we thinking yeah, like that? Why? Why? And why will you go and kiss? Like, you'll get the same guy who's proper NF racist mm. who'll kiss Andy Cole on the head after he scores a goal mm. and hug him. But then mm. you can be mm. racist at the same time. Like, football is the mm. only sport that can kind of make you forget you're Twitter. racist. Do you know what I mean? You see all these, and the funny thing is, you see even sometimes when you go to games, you know, because they think no one's watching. Mm. I've heard it in the stands. Bro, everywhere. Not, like black. you get Eastern Europe and they're throwing bananas it? on the pitch and stuff on, like yeah, that. Yeah, I see, madness, I see that bro. online. And um, I've got a question to ask you, yeah. yeah. Are they coming up to speed with the fact that it's not right? Because when I see like England go to these mad places mm -hmm. and they're still doing it, or sometimes I, are they? Where is it not clicking? That's what I don't understand. Is it? Is what's it like here? Like, because yeah, I, yeah. I, no, no, I'm here on like, bro. is it? Yeah, here's no, normal, even when you play football, like when it's an intense, yeah, like, yeah. Have the, a black players been put in that position though. Nah, here no, here they haven't. Have here they? we're racist about against everyone, bro. I oh, hate you. It? I hate you all, bro. So, if so you're not from my, my my family, my immediate, you know, my brother, my sister, I hate you. Is <laughs> don't that what they're nah, on? Nah, I'm joking. Nah, they don't care about that here, bro. It's not, it's not like that. I think it's a, it's generally a European thing, bro. Really? I think. Yeah. Do you know why I don't know? I mean, obviously because there's racism in every country. Yeah, even yeah, yeah. Here, Of do, course, of course, is. you. Yeah. But do you know but, what? I, I don't know, and this is what I see in Dubai. I haven't seen black bankers. I haven't seen yeah, but black people in managerial positions. But I haven't how, seen anything. How, how, how many people do you know in those positions? So when you say, um, when you say, how many managerial positions, friends or people that you know work here that you're comparing that to? I know quite a few, like a few. Yeah. And, but, I'm, but sometimes it's, you could just tell mm. with the eyes yeah, yeah, when yeah. you go to certain places. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm not saying it means, oh, everyone's racist. Check his I'm visa at the this. airport. He's never working I, back everyone, to this country again. Yeah, I'm, you know, <laughs> no, no, but yeah. it's, you go and, and you look and you go, I'm interested to see yeah. where the country's gonna be in five years. Because when you look at everything else, yeah. they're it's ahead, so, bro. Yeah, yeah. They're ahead. Like yeah, I'm yeah. looking and every time I come back to mm. Dubai, I feel like you're just pushing further and mm. further. The, the, the amazing things you're doing, bro. Like I think the country is just mad. Mm. I'm interested to see where the integration comes in with people that are not from here. Not just working here, because mm. we all know someone who's working here now. Is that's black but and not just people that i've got money that have moved here mm. i'm talking about the working class yeah that's where i want to see where these I countries think the are the difficult thing is like here and other places is where you've got a lot of people from the working class like for example the indian construction workers mm. and the indian guys doing it where you'll find a lot more indian guys doing it is unfortunately they'll do the, the job for a much cheaper price mm. than an english yeah. white guy doing IT even if yeah. they got the same quality yeah. and that's business the yeah. guy who owns a business is going to be like well why am I going to go and get this guy and you. pay him this much when okay. this guy's happy that's to why do they it. move call yeah. centres yeah. and when, I know when what this they guy, do when this guy's happy to do it for a quarter of the price mm. so I think when it's been done for so long mm. then people don't think alright let me change this or whatever because there will always be people who are more than happy to, to do it for a price because when they transfer that money to back home mm. they're living much better than when they were I'm interested back home, to see you know? hotel clerks, black hotel clerks, black bankers, because no one mm. can tell me that they don't exist yet. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm yeah, interested yeah. to know what that looks like. If you've got a, a black banker and you've got someone that's from here, uh, is the person going to get the job based on ability? Because that's what I care about. But or, yeah, but this is another thing. if ability is equal, are they going to go, Okay, but this is my a, brother, this, this he's going to... Yeah, but this is know? another thing, yeah. So yeah. you get that not just with black bankers and stuff, but you also get, for example... If a local and a white guy both have the same experience, they're going to be like, we're going to choose the local because we're looking after our people first before anyone else. But if someone lives here and they're a resident here, yeah, 
Yeah, I know that it doesn't mean that they were from the same generation. Yeah. Right. But if you're looking at it literally from a, even just a residential mm. thing where, okay, this guy's from the UAE now. It doesn't matter. He's passed he's never from, from there. He's never from the UAE. But do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So then that means that there's work to be done. But yeah, but also you can look at it on the flip side. Look, I'm not on, e on either mm. side, but you can look at it at the point that they will always put their people first and they will always look after their but people. Then, but, then, but then, and I get that to an extent, but then that means that there's going to be situations where I'm talking about if someone is qualified. But you got to remember also, like, do you know the, the, the population of locals here mm -hmm. is something like 15% of the whole population. Mm. So they have so you, to look so after. So you're saying that it's more It's more expats here. Really? Yeah, like 80% more. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the way they're looking at it is that like, we need, we need to, this 20%, we need to keep going. Well, listen. Um, but you've had some mad like racism towards you yeah. even in the uk right yeah, yeah I, I, I read something recently something about someone said i'm gonna send some money to oh, your yeah, family yeah, in yeah, africa yeah, yeah. oh man that was um it's funny because that was uh, a few years ago i went to a city game yeah and this guy he was drunk you know when people use the drunk yeah. as an excuse mate sorry mate. that's just amplified you nah mate yeah i'm, yeah. I'm not down for it but um yeah so he i'm coming out of a game and i'm doing the fan cam stuff and i wasn't like rude to him or yeah. bothering him i was just like oh would you, something like along the lines of what do you think of the game and 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 he was talking whatever and then randomly within the conversation he goes i'm gonna i'm gonna send some money back to you and your family in africa like in africa just out of nowhere <laughs> honestly it was so there's the full video on youtube that's why it's so mad <laughs> but, but what was your it's, initial it's, reaction like nah, honestly bro like I were you thought, more baffled than anything else i was i was so i just thought did he just say that and mm. then i remember Go in and like when I got a reputation, I can't just bang someone on the camera. <laughs> like, yeah, that yeah. is 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 you you think that massively. I went to my yeah. boy Jermaine, Jermaine who 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 works at um, Murky for Stormzy. He's yeah. doing a really good job over there. Shout out to Jermaine. He's also yeah. forever cheeky sport. Mm. Um, and we were doing fan cams that day. We we were in Manchester. I said, Jermaine, you should see what this guy just said. And I pulled up the thing and I played it to him. And immediately I said, You think you can get away with that? He's yeah. gonna get outed, mate. Straight up, he goes, man. I was just like, yeah, that's nuts. Need and then I shame, sent it bro. to um, the other guys, and I remember Akeem, just my friend Akeem, was just like, is that what? He's like, out him, bro. Like, you yeah, know, for like sure. Akeem you have to, was yeah. just like, yeah, we're standing with you and and stuff like that. And and Jay was like, what? I remember the group. Like, I remember everything. Mm. Like, it was very clear in the conversation, you know, what was going on. And, and I remember those two. They were like, what? Next thing you know, I put it out there mm. and stuff. And it's weird because I remember reaching out to City and there was no response. There was really? no, nothing at the time. Like, And then next thing you know, when they realized that some people started catching wind of it, mm. um, it was... When they realized it was a problem for yeah, them. Like, yeah, like Ian Wright... I sent it to Ian Wright's agent and and he was just like, we're standing with you, bro. You know what I mean? Like, and and I always have respect for them for doing yeah, yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. um, Wrighty put it out, weren't happy. Uh, a lady called Laura Woods, who is a big presenter in Sky, she's really like lovely. She does her thing. Um, Laura, she was just like, what? Tweeted out mm. there, like, what? And I, and, and Stormzy as well. He was just like, anyone know this person? He just put it out on his thingy. It's got to be listen, done, bro. Listen, and I don't, I've, I've got no minutes, sympathy, yeah. Within 10 minutes, people came back to him and he mm. just DM'd him like, here's the guy, lads. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, like, and it's mad because, yeah, and we were like, no, it was all in like newspapers and stuff like that. And then obviously City were trying to sort it out and and then they were like, um, okay, what do you want? For Dante, I'm like, uh, he deserves education. First mm. of all, he should be banned and he deserves education. And then I want an apology as well. And by education, well. we mean a Croydon education. <laughs> and it was like a slap <laughs> and then Listen, the education, yeah. For, I just said he needs education. Yeah, yeah. Right? So <laughs> the next thing you know, um, we, we, um, yeah, they, I said, you know, he's going to have to apologize. Mm. And he wouldn't apologize. He, apolog he pretended to apologize online or whatever he did, or he had gone off IG, whatever he yeah, did. Yeah. But when it came down to apologize, he went apologizing. I was just like, and I said to them, I said, listen to you people. Like, he doesn't, this is what I'm saying. This is not someone that means it. Mm. Someone that's pretending he means it. He can't even apologize. Yeah, yeah. Do you know? And then they were like, well, 
okay, well, we'll give them a ban for like a year or something like that. I'm like, okay, cool. So then, and then what else? There needs to be some sort of yeah. education. Do you know, I'm not just one of those people that says yeah, give yeah. them a ban because it's like, if you haven't really, nothing, if really. your mindset doesn't change or you don't, you know, you don't have an education, then all it is is whatever mm. in it. You could just go get your mate's mm. ticket and then go and go mm. sit in another stand and no one even knows. Do you know mm. what I'm coming from? So there needs to be a mindset change and, and, um, they were like, well, you know, kind of like, that's all that's, that's all that's going to happen. And next thing you know, that was it. Do you know where I'm coming from? But I think from then on, it, it, I looked and unfortunately, you, you remember that up and down the country, mm. people, it's not even about football. Sometimes it's just about your skin colour. Mm. And I think to myself, that is so mad. I wouldn't mm. want my daughter, my daughter to go to a game and she's think the first thing she thinks of is, well, I'm, I'm, state is, well, yeah, I'm yeah. black yeah, yeah. And I'm, or I'm a female. Yeah. Like that's mad. Mm. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, you, you shouldn't be looking at your gender or your yeah, skin yeah. color or whatever yeah. in it. Like, she should be able to go to games and be cool. You know mm. what I'm saying? Like, you're not supposed to be looking at people and just thinking, yeah, well, that's just all mad. It's mad, bro. The whole thing. I mean, again, I've spoken about this so many times. That it's like how, like, racism changes when you are relying on one of your athletes that's black. How like your opinion changes. Yeah. Like you know, in America and all that stuff, it's like oh, when 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 you like uh, Benzema said it the best. He said, "When I score, I'm French. When I don't, you know, um, Arab, Alger Algerian. Arab, Arab, Arab. I'm an Arab. That's bad. Do you know what I mean? Man. And it's true. That is so. It's bad. true. It's like when it benefits racist people, like for you to win them World Cups or gold medals in the Olympics and all That's that like stuff. It's team. fine. Yeah." If you look at our whole French team, the Bro, Pogba's, you see what thing the he said as well. They had a big thing when they were like, we need to, uh, and, and me and Bakari spoke about that. Uh, I'll show you the clip. It's uh, mm. quite interesting to see because I had, because you know the whole 2010 World Cup thing that France, it was a mad one. Mm -hmm. So I had both opinions. I had Bakari's mm. opinion from inside. That's team, interesting. And I had Mikhail's opinion from watching it from the outside, That's what he thought of all that stuff. And, you know, they had the thing where they were, um, he was like, the coach was like, oh, we need to kind of what, look at our quota because we have more African and North African players in the team than white French people. And it's just like, like why? why? But, they're, like, but their passports, are they not? <sighs> so that's like see, you said, you will never be. You will never be, yeah. It don't matter if the passport did it, it don't matter if you're a resident, it don't matter if you're this yeah, and yeah. that. I just, and that's why I just think, all right then, you know, like, but yeah, you'll use them though mm. for commercial exactly, reasons, that's what I'm saying. to make when the money benefits, off them, to benefit and that, but then, it's yeah. a shame, but you know, mm. I unfortunately don't see the world changing anytime soon. That's the issue. What people think, I mean, obviously we need to take steps in the right direction to try yeah. and minimize as much as possible. Yeah. But I just think it's going to be a long time before everyone's unified, bro, because that you've got too many closet racists, too many of that stuff mm. that's going on. Yeah. And it's not just racism about black people, it's Arabs, it's, uh, yeah. you know, I mean, back in the day, Arabs it was no, no well, blacks, you know, no blacks no dogs, no Irish, bro. Like, back in the day, they used to have that on pubs. Irish were after dogs. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Imagine that. They had dogs first and then Irish. It's like, it's just horrible. It's man. everywhere around the world. Yeah. And I think it's such a pandemic in itself. <coughs> That's gonna take a long time. Like, yeah. like, just like Reagan said, bro, it's gonna take aliens to come when we're all like, okay, we're fighting against them now, so we need to unite. It's, it's a yeah, mad. No, it's um, and yeah, it's so, too deep. But uh, we, you know, we're gonna keep on fighting the good fight, and I think that's why it's important to to speak about it mm. and to be respectful about it as well, because it, you know these are very sensitive topics. But to have open dialogue. You know, before it would be taboo to go on a show mm. and we'll talk about, you know, I didn't, I, I used to think, oh, great, if I call out someone racist in the office, you know, it, it, you, you you were looked yeah, at like, look at you, oh, oh, he's the guy. troublemaker, yeah, oh, the again. black card, oh, God, yeah. why don't you just get over it? Here we go. Like, again. yeah, like, yeah. it's like, but it's not, it's like, yo, yeah. like, this if, is a reality. Yeah, if, if there's a, you know, like, it's all yeah. a bit mad. So, yeah, there's a lot of stuff as well in it. Like, it's not just racism, but there's a lot of stuff. But that is key. Uneducated, and, bro. Yeah. And education. again, like, look, look at it. This is a simple thing. Like, in America, you know that after 2000, uh, after 9-11, the most people that were getting the racism towards were Sikhs. Well, yeah, because you can and imagine. They, but Sikhs are not Muslim, bro. But it's because, because people look and turban, they go... Because they're wearing a yeah. turban. They, all the same, they, yeah, all the same exactly. to me. That's what people are thinking. You're exactly. not even and they being, were like, oh, are you you're Muslim? Being, and all these Sikh people were thinking, hold on a minute. I'm not even Muslim. What are you doing, being bro? being respectful to it's, me. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's the uneducated 
I think that's the problem as well, yeah, bro. Yeah. That imagine, imagine a whole race of people were being victimized yeah. and they weren't even the people yeah. doing it. Yeah, they just look at your skin color. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what it, I mean? It's or a something strange that they're thing. not they don't know. Yeah, yeah, like you're talking about. It's fair, bro. bro. It's just, fair. Honestly, man. But anyway, what fair, else yeah. we talk about? Yeah, but I don't know, bring it to, to bring it back and bring yeah. it back. Um yeah, I want I mean this is not any much of a better subject, but you got some flack. Let's talk about the Newcastle Malarkey, man. What happened? What happened in Newcastle? When you made that video. Oh, on and uh, then, ITV, oh, Good Morning yeah, Britain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is the thing. Do you have Bro. to be careful about what you say? Because I, 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 we spoke about this before. I don't want to be careful about my opinion. I want to have an opinion. If it's wrong, people are more than um, right to educate me or to to talk about it and bring it up. That's happy. That's something you've got to be willing to I agree. To I'm, 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 I'm willing to be yeah. educated where I'm not, you yeah. know, where, where I don't know. Or I think for me, it's funny because when you do those shows, mm. when, you know, you go, okay, I'm going to come on and you have to try to study both sides. Mm. I think it's very important to try mm. to study both sides. And I, when we spoke about the Newcastle owners coming in and people were like, oh, should they come in? Should they mm. not? My whole thing was from a fan's perspective mm. and Newcastle fan's perspective, simply that, mm. of course they're going to be happy. But you said that as well. This, this is the yeah, thing yeah, that I, I, know, could, yeah. I was baffled because I was like, what is he saying? Yeah, yeah, of course they're going to be happy. Yeah. You know, like, come on, it's yeah. like Abramovich and whatever. Like, mm. of course when there's the takeover from a mm, footballing like a perspective, City or whatever, the, the yeah. fans were going mad in Newcastle. Yeah. I said, look, if, for example, where they get their money is is not good, mm. then obviously that's not a good thing. Because mm. let's not forget, a lot of the F1, they don't mind F1 being yeah. funded by, you know what I mean, people from the UAE and stuff yeah. like that. And everyone watches it when it's the final day and we're all cheering on Hamilton yeah. or whoever. Do you know what I mean? Like, But it's like when it, but then people pick and choose or they come out and they're, oh, wow, oh, this is terrible. This like, is the what, problem, about, yeah. what about here and what about there and what about Bro, all these other sports? But this that, is the problem. Not just that. What about all the other stuff that's happening in all these other countries in the world? But like it's fashionable to talk about this one now. Yeah, or, or, or do you know you, what I mean. You support you. You provide the 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 uh, the, the you know the ammunition, but yeah. then all of a sudden it's all a bit weird. Yeah. So when I talk, I'll specifically talk about it yeah. from this perspective. Because I saw you Newcastle. doing that in that video, I was yeah. like, okay, I see what he's doing. Yeah, here. He's and then like, the next, I'm protecting myself with this sentence. No, but I just yeah. thought because some yeah. people they'll take it as oh, he thinks. Yeah, yeah. What is he saying? Or, yeah. Do you know what I mean? At the end of the day, I'm a good like, bro. I don't care either way. But you know, but, <laughs> yeah. but next thing you yeah. know they start writing about me in the papers. I'm yeah. like, what have I done now? But the reality is it was easy for me because mm. I just thought to myself, see, this is why you just have to try to be specific with how you mm. write and you speak to your audience. Oh man, the, the, the DMs you get, you see what type of people are in, mm. in the country when you do something on TV or something that's different from your field. I'm yeah. telling you, the amount of abuse you get in your DMs, mm. you know, like it's crazy. Like it's, it's insane. Like, and and you, you, you think, wow, is this really the mm. people that exist here? Mm. These are the people that vote that you don't yeah, see yeah, that yeah, vote. Exactly, that's the problem, yeah. Because, every, you know, everything's all commercial. Like, yeah, yeah. It's the, even voting, voting is just like keyboard warriors for closeted racists too, bro. It's like, the world just needs to reset, I think. I think we need a nice yeah, cold, I, a nice little ice age to believe, come. Believe in what you want to believe in. Yeah, yeah. But don't then come and yeah. start abusing me. Yeah, like, yeah. abusing me. Mm. Like, you know, I'm coming from like, come on, bro. And this is like, the thing, bro, as well. Where, it's funny how people think that they have a different access to you because you're a name that's well known. Do you know what I mean? It's like they wouldn't I'm go. I'm just on the to, come up. Yeah, but they wouldn't see know. Me, I'm just they on wouldn't the come go up, bro. to. A, I'm not like, they wouldn't go to a person they know and say the same shit. They do you know what I mean? Like, or, know, or the person that's I, in the I, pub. I tell you what's funny yeah. though. One of the comments that I saw that stuck out was actually a guy that I used to work with. Like I used to work with him, like known proper. Wow. Yeah. Bro, man's on in my comments here. Writing as if I'm some, as if he's a troll, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I don't know him, yeah. and, and he doesn't know you. Furthermore. And I'm just so, thinking, yeah. dude, you know you could have just messaged me, like, yeah, you, yeah. Know, you know, like yeah, you yeah. actually know me, like yeah. you know what I'm saying. Listen, I'm talking. Blah, 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 blah. I'm just thinking to myself, yeah, like, yeah. when like, yeah. when there's a to topic of racism, the vaccine, mm. certain you know sensitive topics. Mm you sometimes see what people are and yeah, they yeah. even forget that, you know, you know, you could still articulate yourself or you yeah, can yeah. talk to me or, do you know what I mean? Yeah. But they, people, ah. And you respect them as well because sometimes you'll get a comment. I didn't respect this guy. No, no, no. But I mean like people who, sometimes you'll get a comment and it's someone who's not agreeing with you. Yeah. And they articulate themselves in a very polite, very well known, I'm and that comment you. will stand out to you because you'll be like, you know what? Fair play. I like the way you wrote that. And, and, and that got to me, do you know what I mean? Cool, uh, let's yeah. just agree to disagree. Mm. 
if it's not malicious and it's not mm. this and that and it's like well you might need education or we might just not agree you go over your side i go over we yeah. can deal with that yeah. but when it's you know these vile yeah, people yeah. oh my gosh man but i'll tell you what um yeah i just i can't wait to sit down and keep having a chat with mm. my daughter and, and my niece when they get older and say look these are the type of people i'm mm. not gonna hide things from them yeah, as the sure. years go on Obviously now they're a little bit young, but I, t I feed them bit by bit. Like, you know, the world is like mm. this, you know, the world is like that. Yeah, I so do that, the same with then they my get kids. To a certain yeah. age. Cause my kids are mixed as well. So mm. my eldest son is uh, Trinidadian, Spanish, mm. Lebanese. Mm. Wow. And my, my twins now, mm. they're English, Somali, Lebanese. So yeah. I feel like when you're mixed, it's harder as well, it, because yeah. you kind of like, all right, I'm getting all different angles as well. Mm. So you've got to kind of just like, at least give them the tools to understand to what's to, going yeah, on yeah, and to know about their yeah, cultures yeah, yeah. and, to, I mean? and to be proud of their cultures yeah. and all that stuff is i'm telling you it's not easy but i guess where we're going to be better than even our parents mm. is we're in a generation where if you're willing there's more information yeah exactly. and we're a little bit more sensitive mm. we're a little bit more do you know yeah, i'm coming from we know it, were, yeah, yeah we know how to like approach the situations yeah. and there's a lot more access that we have yeah. and so i guess we can and we got use a that. lot less uh, a lot more time to do it where they were like all right, we just moved to this country or we just have done we need to make it work yeah, man. so that the focus wasn't on us so much, but it was just like, I'm let's survive, you, you know, true. and I build and build a life for each other, for these kids yeah, where we're kind of like, we've got more time to be like, yeah, you know, okay, let me just, we, we've seen yeah. different stuff, you know, I want, you know, shout out to my mum and dad who, you know, they came over, they tried to make life better for us mm. and stuff. Um, my dad had to restart his studies mm. because they didn't respect his degree from the Congo. Wow. You know, he got first class in the Congo, masters yeah. everything, comes to Europe. They're like, nah, mate, yeah, yeah. rubbish. You know, he had to obviously go and relearn English. He was all, mm. learn English. He was always going to do that, but he needed to go to university. It's not like mm. here where you go to the States and it's they done, go, yeah, oh, yeah. you got a degree. Yeah, yeah. Nah, they were like, nah, we, we don't rate this. Saying you that, know. there's a Congolese footballer with exactly the same name as you. Who? You know that, right? Joel I think Bear. so, yeah. I saw it a lot on Wiki because they're trying to yeah, improve yeah. my Wiki, yeah? yeah? Yeah, yeah, And this brother keeps coming up, but yeah, they yeah. keep using my picture yeah, or something yeah, like that. Yeah. They've got it's both random. of your pictures next to each other, oh, so it's like, so choose confusing. which one you want, bro. Nah, it's, he's not me. So what does the future hold for you now? You know what, yeah? It's to um, to improve as a person. You know, like, mm. I'm not perfect. You know, I say my prayers every night, and sometimes I don't, and sometimes I need to improve in areas. But it's to improve as a person for god to be proud of me mm. the day i do leave this earth mm. and secondly as well is to is to that spiritually i think as people it's just to be like just to be cool like mm. I'm, I'm not all i try to be cool with people if i don't know you it will take me a, a little bit longer to you know you can't you can't mm. you've got to protect your heart and life right yeah, mm -hmm. but um in general when people know you to be like no you know what these are his barriers he's cool this is what he is and it's love mm. i want to give back to people i want to mm. give back as as much as i can where i don't feel like uncomfortable doing so mm. if i can't do something i'll say you know what this ain't i don't really do it like that this doesn't work for me but if i can do something i'll be like yeah this is mm. what i'll do and i'll stick to it um so i just want to be that kind of person a person where you might not like what i do you might not know what i do but it's a good name mm. because our name is worth more than money yeah, yeah. Sure. You're coming from when I leave this place, I'm not just gonna remember the great setup and stuff like that. Mm. I'll be like, Yeah, AJ treated me good, man. Mm. That's a good name. Yeah. Do you know where I'm coming from? Yeah, yeah. And that's For what sure. I want. And then on top of that, I just want to be, I also want to be a great father yeah. to my little girl. I love to be you know, my, my daughter, you know, she's believe the children are the future. <laughs> mate, she, you know, yeah, it's, it's that, mad. We were talking about that before, right? Yeah, like, our kids, man. Like, and sometimes, you know people might think oh yeah you know it's just some online stuff and it's not like mm. the the love i have for my yeah, daughter and my niece you, you as well my girls. and the responsibility i don't think yeah. people appreciate the responsibility of of having a child and not just that like it's a weird feeling because i remember even thinking about this i'm going wow like i'm so lucky i've developed these tools and i think the way i am yeah. because i'm going to teach them so much and i'm going to give them so much and i'm going to I can actually, you know, really make, mold a beautiful human being, you know, and yeah. and that responsibility, a lot of people don't use it, man. It's, it's not easy because sometimes yeah. you don't agree with the person that you made the child with. Mm. Like, I'm not going to act as if I haven't been at odds with mm. my daughter's mum, 
but there's always a side there whether she knows it or believes mm. it or not mm. you know either way i know what my heart is there's a lot of things that i haven't been happy with yeah mm. but at the same time you have to respect the fact that there yeah. is a love and it is yeah. a job that she does and you know what i mean whether i always agree mm. with it or not whatever it is but there's a job that's being done there and it's a lifelong commitment you know and mm. and on my side it's exactly the same thing you know there's things that i'm going to get better at whatever but there's a job and there's a commitment there that i'm not going to drop for, for anybody yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah. like you know don't get it twisted if i gotta go do a cr7 interview yeah. and it's the day that i've got my child you know my she's sister coming. my sister <laughs> yeah. she's either coming yeah, or my yeah. sister's helping me babysit yeah. or something yeah, yeah. shout out to my sister as well yeah. like me and her just you know so like yeah so it's, it's so those are the things that i i want to go forward mm. but from a career perspective mm. we're going to keep on growing the joel bayer brand we're going to keep on growing the five brand uh and we're gonna we're gonna take over like proper like mm take over yeah. where we are able to make footballers feel comfortable athletes feel comfortable when they speak with us it's you know they can be themselves uh, and we're going to be innovative with the shows that we create mm. to really become you know that space where people can enjoy content that they mm. they've always wished to see or they didn't even know they wanted to see mm. so and that's from a, a creative perspective and I think it's just as important to do business well in the back end mm -hmm. because this is a business world that we're in as well. Yeah. So to get the balance right, but to deliver good content for the audience, man, that mm. we love and support and they support us. Yeah, man, much love and prosperity to you, bro. Mm. Um, you know, one thing that when you mentioned, do you kind of feel like, because I kind of feel like this sometimes, because you mentioned God and you, cause you're a religious person. Mm. Do you sometimes feel like when you say that to people, they're kind of like, yeah, but I don't because care, like man. no, but I mean in the in this day and age it's quite funny because even like when 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 I'm going out and stuff with my friends and I'm like yeah I don't drink I don't I, I kind of yeah, do yeah, stuff yeah, they're yeah, looking at me like but I'll tell like you weird what. and it's like they they try to make you feel weird for yeah, believing AJ, in God it's strange care. right I don't care and the yeah. reason why I don't care is because not in a disrespectful way I don't care but it's, it's because it's like it's my journey it's, 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 it's <laughs> like you, you yeah. first of all you know I don't care about a lot of things yeah. I try to be respectful but there's a side of me that I don't care and, and I look at things like that as a relationship yeah for me personally my faith right is as important to me as mm -hmm. any other relationship in my life mm -hmm. how many times have we spoken about our kids today mm -hmm. how many you can see you've spoken to me yeah. about your wife you've spoken to me about so we those things we don't yeah. even try yeah they come out of us naturally yeah. and that's just who i am the things that i love and i believe mm. you're gonna hear it doesn't mean i'm perfect yeah but you're gonna be hearing it yeah, yeah. and it's not to make anyone feel some type of way but it's, it's part of yeah, who, it's I am. who i am yeah. but what you find there is when you stand on that and you have people who understand mm. you as a human being they'll know you're not perfect they'll know you're trying to improve they'll know this whatever after a while, people respect it. Mm. Don't and it also brushes off on people too. You know, yeah. you could someone can take good bits from you and at the end of the day, that's what you want when you're walking yeah. on this planet, right? For people to take the good bits from you and go, you know what, yeah. I respect that side. You know, I see what he's trying to do or what he was saying. You know, sometimes he didn't always do it, mm. but I respect it. So I'm going to take that positive side of things mm. from him. Yeah, man, for sure. Bro. I want to I want you to end something um, straight to that camera because, yeah. you know, we've been through a lot of the same things, you know, building, building yeah, yeah. a brand, going yeah. through it and all that. Um, you know, obviously, it's a lot of self-belief and persistence and manifestation and these things. Mm -hmm. What would be your, you know, if you could leave a leaving thought with people who are trying to start yeah. and, you know, to, to, to keep going and, and what kind of things, tools can you pass on to them? for people that want to get into the digital world and want to brand themselves and, and do that? Well, part of it, I always have, I, you know, you might not be a believer. I'll, I'll tell you what mm. works for me. Cause you know, there's things that work for different mm. people. What works for me and what works in general is if it's your calling and you're a spiritual person, even if you're not asked for that calling, man, just like, yo, is this my calling? Find that out. And sometimes you, you go, how do I get that answer? You're not gonna get an audible voice mm. all the time, but you know what? You try, you try things out. I think a lot of people, um, they don't try, so they never know. Never know yeah. And then they got a chip on their shoulder. Do you know what I'm coming from? And I, and I say be responsible because it's hard because sometimes if you know you got to pay a bill and you got a starving child, me personally, 
I'm gonna make sure my child doesn't starve. Mm. Do you know where I'm coming from? I'm sure it works on a one-off occasion when it doesn't, but I'm not yeah, recommending yeah. that. I reckon- Know when to let it go if it's not. Yeah, yeah, try to do the best you can that doesn't put people in danger and harm. Mm. That's what I would do. I mean, obviously some people, it's a different circumstance. Mm. So I can only talk from my perspective. Mm. I would try as long as it doesn't put people in harm, but I would also be very stubborn with the trying and, and do not just the book research, but sometimes there's a feeling that you get, you know, try to be wise as possible financially, but there's a feeling that you get that sometimes you can't explain. Mm. You can't explain that feeling in a business plan. Mm. You write it, do all the steps that you have to do just in case you have to show someone and you have to be prepared or you want to carry on going with a journey, but that business plan is going to change. So be prepared to also go with your gut you know, and, and try your very best to find out what your calling is. Um, I heard a guy called TD Jake say one day, if it's not the thing, it'll be the thing that leads to the thing. Mm. And I was trying one thing out when I heard that message. If it's not the thing, it'll be the thing that leads to the thing. Meaning, try. Try. I hear that, bro. Bro, it's been an absolute pleasure to have you on the show. Thank, Thank you so you, much for coming down. Thank you. Is that Rolly? Sure, yeah? okay. uh, it's actually a wedding gift for my father in law. Oh, okay. It's 57 years old. It's vintage, mate. It's vintage. I'm sure. Um, you can have it if you And actually, ah! it was a gift for my, the, the other one. The other one. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been an absolute pleasure to have you. And for sure, we'll get you on again the next time you're down. Yeah, for sure. Um, and we'll try and get a couple of the other la the lads on as well. When you in London? Um, never. Never again. Never, bro, never. never. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I. Yeah, Sean, I when will. you're down. Man. I will for sure. Yeah. Um, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. I've been AJ. He's been Joel. Um, Joel Bear one on IG. <laughs> That's all going to be there. Don't Joel worry, bro. Bear we got it all sorted, mate. They got all your links, mate. They got your address. All they got your phone stuff. number. It's all going down, bro. Everyone else, everyone yeah. does these days. You <laughs> exactly. can't even complain. Exactly. Guys, I'll catch you next time. Boom. <laughs>